So you're interested in becoming a cop? Well, good. You found the right profession and the right video. Stay tuned. We're going to explain the step-by-step hiring process of how to become a police officer right after this. Listen, stop. I don't want to hear no law stated to me. I don't want to hear nothing. Okay, you're on property. The people who own this property ask you to leave. If you do not leave, after I tell you one more time, you will be trespassing after warning. Understood. So can I get leave the property? So you're trespassing. Trespassing after warning. warning. I'm going to tell you one more time. If you do not leave the property after warning, you will be going to jail. You understand? As you know, police officers are held to a higher standard. The public, the department, the news, especially social media these days, will ensure that you meet these high standards. None of these entities want or deserve anyone that cannot meet these standards. And sadly, about 15 to 20 percent of the applications who want to do the job typically won't meet these standards according to the psych exam. These screenings will evaluate your impulse control. Turn around for me, please. Thank you. I need everybody's ID. You are being lawfully detained because there was a complaint called on all three of you. So you have no right to not give me any of your information. General intelligence. So, okay, I'm going to say this clearly. Reasonable courage, honesty, integrity. Someone called on you. Understand. Stop. Personal bias or lack of bias. Understand. Someone called on you, correct? Do you understand? I, I don't know if somebody called on us, but you're Someone saying called. that. Do you understand? Yes. I'm telling you. I understand the words you're saying, yes. Okay, so since someone called, we have an obligation to figure out what's going on. Okay. So that means you are being detained. Okay. So give me your ID, or you will be placed under arrest for fail to identify. Ability to tolerate stress. Can I have your ID, please? Because I need to identify who you are, because there was a lawful complaint made against you. I'm happy to identify myself. Perfect. Do you have ID? Is there a law that you suspect me of breaking? Or a crime you suspect me of breaking? we're not going to play this game, okay? You're not going to come here with the whole laws and this and that. Yes, you are on private property. They asked you to... Listen, stop, listen. You are on the property here, correct? Yes, sir. They asked you to leave, correct? Yeah. Okay, that is trespass after warning. I asked you to leave. No, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, but I'm getting your information before you leave. You are being detained. But that's why I haven't left. Exactly. You me. So give me your ID or you will be placed under arrest for fail to identify. You understood? So here's my advice. Be honest and be yourself. They will know if you're lying or putting on a front. It is okay to ask a few questions for clarity. But if you're asking too many questions for clarity, it's annoying and probably a red flag too. So just relax and answer the, to the best of your ability. I do understand what you're then saying, me, but I don't give, understand give the I'm not going to ask you again, and I'm not going to sit here all day long. Secondary... Either you give me your identification or your name and date of birth right now, or we will obtain it in the DeSoto County Jail under, via fingerprint. Under threat Understood. of arrest, and I will identify myself. That's fine. I am threatening to arrest you. If you fail the test, I guess you have two things to consider. Are you cut out for this job? Or maybe you're just unintentionally not consistent in your answers. I hope your career in law enforcement will be rewarding. Stay calm, stay humble, be professional. And as the good Lord has told us, treat people the way you want to be treated.